I am Dr. Stacy and welcome to the special interview on Diabetes Remission Program at Manipal Hospital, Goa. With me is Dr. Vikram Dalvi. He is a consultant in internal medicine and a diabetologist at Manipal Hospital, Goa. Dr. Vikram, welcome to the show. So Dr. Vikram, what is diabetes mellitus? Di diabetes mellitus is a that we have well-known disease where people know that the sugar goes beyond certain limit. Right. For example, fasting more than fasting blood sugar more than 125, or two hour post uh, 75 gram glucose load sugar more than 200, or a test called HbA1c more than 6.5. Once you your sugar goes beyond these levels, we call that the diabetes. patient has diabetes. But diabetes is actually much beyond blood sugars, it is going to also affect your cholesterol levels, it is also going to affect the uric acid levels. Right. And over years, it is going to cause a lot of complications. If it's not controlled. If it is not well controlled. So is there any types in diabetes or is it just uh, one type? There are multiple types of diabetes. Uh, type 1 diabetes is uh, a disease where it, it, it's a childhood disease, it usually starts before age of 15 and it is caused because of lack of insulin. There is no insulin in them and the only way to treat them is insulin, give external insulin. Type 2 diabetes is what we see commonly. More than 95% of diabetic patients belong to this category, which usually comes in middle age and causes a lot of issues. Okay. Then there is something called a gestational diabetes. The sugar goes beyond certain level during pregnancy. As soon as the baby is delivered, uh, the sugars the come back to normal. And then there are rarer types of diabetes, which is drug-induced diabetes or single gene defects or uh, polygenic uh, syndromes. But there are less, they are less than 1% of total number of diabetes. So we hardly see them. So by and large, the major chunk is type 2 diabetes only. So uh, doctor, what are the risk factors of type 2 diabetes? Are there any precursors that could lead to this disease? Yes, there are multiple risk factors. Usually what we do is we divide the risk factors into something that cannot be modified and something that, that can, can be, be modified. modified. Something that cannot be modified is typically your genetics, like we belong to Asian race, Right. Uh, then family history of diabetes. Uh, this is something we cannot modify. modify. Age is another factor that we cannot modify. As you age, the risk increases. Modifiable risk factors are basically your central obesity, that is lot of fat in and around the tummy, lack of exercise and uh, improper food intake. These are the things that we can modify. So is there a condition called as pre-diabetes or, uh, or are there any signs and symptoms that a patient would know before they get termed as diabetics? Yeah. See, in older, uh, many years ago, the typical symptoms of diabetes were excess urination, mm -hmm. excess uh, thirst, and there was weight loss, excess hunger as well. But that is usually a late sign of advanced diabetes. These days, because of advent of blood test and awareness about uh, this issue, a lot of people checked sugars routinely much in advance before developing symptoms. So we detect diabetes much early. There is something called as pre-diabetes, which is a stage before diabetes. It is neither normal nor fully diabetic. And it is very important to recognize this state. The reason is that if you don't take adequate precautions, pre-diabetics are going to progress to diabetes within a few years. Whereas if you take precautions, you can go back to normal sugar levels. And we call a person as pre-diabetic if the HbA1c is between 5.7 to 6.5 or fasting sugar is between 100 to 125 or post-meal sugar is between 140 to 200. Right. So, so uh, doctor, with your expertise, do you see any prevalence of diabetes more in a particular gender or in a particular age group? Is there anything like that? Uh, previously, diabetes was a disease of late the middle age. age or elderly. It used to come after age of 40. But these days, we are seeing a lot of uh, new diabetics, newly detected diabetics at age of 25 to 30 itself. Right. So, that has become a problem because this generation is working class generation and they are still, they, they have started earning just recently and they are yet to get married, have their family and they get this diabetes. So right. That is a new finding. So doctor, is diabetes a permanent disease as in once you get it, as in, you will have to live with it for the rest of your life? Uh, the answer is complicated. <laughs> uh, 
type 1 diabetes yes it is a permanent disease if you can go to a center where they can transplant pancreas it can be cured mm, yeah. completely. type 2 completely cured type 2 diabetes uh, gestational diabetes it is a reversible thing as soon as the delivery happens uh, the diabetes is gone but these ladies have chances of developing type 2 diabetes later type 2 diabetes if it is detected early then within first 5 years it can be reverse or what we call as remission if it is detected within 5 years and patient puts a lot of efforts to reduce his body fat then it can be reversed does it get reversed permanently no it is going to come back but usually it will come back after few years it won't come back immediately okay so why should a patient worry about uh, being detected with diabetes yeah so that's a good question uh most of patients when they come to us they are not aware what is diabetes and what is going to cause the basic problem with diabetes is the complications they develop very slowly they don't come from day one and when the complications come in it is usually too late those complications are irreversible and those complications are pretty bad like diabetes is one of the commonest cause of a patient landing on dialysis it's a very common cause of gangrene of legs a uh, lot of patients you will see who need amp amputation at certain stage of life then heart attacks are more common paralytic attacks are more common not only that there is a dreaded disease of liver called cirrhosis which can be also caused by diabetes fractures are more common infertility is a major issue so lot of things which are going to cause a lot of distress physical distress it is going to put a lot of financial pressure on a patient and at the same time it is going to reduce the earning capacity of that person who is affected so it's it's a bad disease it's it's kind of cancer it is not technically cancer but it's kind of cancer if you don't take care at appropriate time later it's going to eat your life make matters worse so doctor is there any uh, possibility that we can reverse uh, this condition and come back to you know normal sugars and normal functioning yes there is a good chance in initial 5 years if the person is overweight and if he attempts to lose weight actually loses weight to the tune of say about 10 kilos there is a very good chance that he will come off the medicines completely and uh, uh, his chances of developing complications are significantly reduced now there were smaller studies previously in the literature but there is a recent relatively large study done in uk it is called direct uk trial there they have proven that at least 50% of patients can go into something called as remission if they can lose weight so it is a reversible disease in early stages but we have seen patients uh, even uh, after 8 years of diabetes if they if they were serious about their efforts they came off the medicine so that is possible So doctor how do you achieve remission in diabetes See for this we need to know what causes diabetes type 2 diabetes Usually uh, first is genetics your age and then years of eating wrong food at wrong time and lack of physical activity builds up obesity Now this obesity is nothing but extra fat in and around your tummy which produces certain hormones which doesn't allow insulin to work now by some some way if you can reduce the fat then it is going to allow insulin to work again and the diabetes will get reversed now there are different ways to reverse diabetes one is of course surgical way which is called as bariatric surgery where where they they reduce the size of the stomach surgically and the diabetes gets reversed uh the other way to do it is with strict diet and exercise but this is very easy to say but it is difficult to actually implement i have seen multiple patients who have done it and they have achieved remission at the same time some patients they said they will do it but they couldn't do it couldn't do it so, so doctor along with the uh, diet and exercise do you think that they need any special medicines to achieve remission no see this is the biggest plus point or advantage of the process of diabetes remission you do not need any kind of special food what you need to do is lose weight that will help you in fat loss as well and for fat loss the only thing you have to do is you eat correct food in correct amount and that's all you need to do so it's practically if you do it it is pretty simple pretty simple so who uh, would you recommend remission to among your patients would you recommend every patient who is a diabetic to attend and attempt remission 
Yes, any diabetic patient practically, see it has been proven in studies that it will get, the chances are higher if it is less than 5 years of uh, duration, but we recommend it to every patient who has a duration less than 10 years because there are good chances that he will be able to reverse it. So, every type 2 diabetic patient who has diabetes duration of less than 10 years and physically fit enough to do certain physical activities and is ready to follow diet advice, we recommend it to everyone. To everyone. Uh, so, Doctor, the Diabetes Remission Program at Manipal Hospital, Goa, what is so special about it? Uh, to start with, I am not aware of any other program that is running currently in Goa. There may be a few things but of, this kind. Of, of this kind, but uh, I am not aware of any such this thing. Now, individually, I am sure that most of the doctors tell their patients that this can be done. But what we are doing is we have made, we are doing a collective effort. So, we have um, formed batches and something that is very difficult to stick to which is diet and exercise when you are working in a group which it, it is much easier to stick to. So, what we do is we form a WhatsApp group of those who are interested. We regularly um, uh, help them to achieve their goals like we keep them motivated daily exercise, daily good quotes, then asking them to update, sharing various articles about diabetes remission with them. So, we keep them active physically as well as mentally. Right. Uh, doctor, what is the cost of this program? Uh, it depends. We have kind of two packages, something called a paid package, where which includes uh, the consultations with me as well as the dietitian and certain tests that costs 7500 over 6 months. The total cost is 7500. But there are some participants who would like to stick to their regular uh, diabetologist and their regular uh, dietitian. For them it is free of cost, but everybody has to attend initial uh, lecture series, which is again free, but they have to make an attempt to come and sit here for one hour on three Sundays. So, they know what they are doing. What they are doing, right. So, doctor, do you think with uh, more and more patients uh, attempting this remission program, will you be losing out on patients? Uh, that is an interesting question. Lot of my colleagues jokingly say this to me, but there are two factors to it. See, one, we cannot eliminate diabetes from earth. That is impossible. What we are trying to achieve is previously diabetes was a disease of elderly. Right. It used to cause complications after age of 60, 65 years. Now it is causing complication at age of 40, 45 years. We want to stop that. We want, we don't want middle-aged earning people to suffer from complications, which is a huge setback for their family as well as for the yeah. And secondly, human nature is such that out of 100 people I tell that you should attempt diabetes reversal, only 30 are probably going to actually, actually attempt, attempt it, it and only 15 are going to succeed. But uh, rest of them are still going to need medical help. And I'm sure that once they know that the intentions of the doctor are right, uh, they will uh, come to me. So, right. uh, I'm not worried about that part. So, doctor, with the current remission program, what is your experience with the current batch? Right. So, this concept we started somewhere in August 2022. The first lecture series where we orient patients towards what is type 2 diabetes that happened in September. And from mid-October, we started with our first batch. There were nine participants. Out of them, four are completely off medicines. Two have reduced their medicines to by half. Mm -hmm. And three have failed to achieve any kind of improvement, which is on expected lines. And the second batch has started recently, which is in February. They are also having good results. Good results in the sense their fasting and post-meal sugars have improved. They are yet to come off medicines. but uh, the sugar levels have definitely improved. They have started losing weight. So, the, the first batch, it is very encouraging uh, uh, result. And we will be concluding the first batch somewhere in the mid-April. That time we will know what is the actual picture. But those who succeeded in coming off the medicines completely, they have lost weight about to the tune of about 10 kgs in first 3 to 4 months. And I think that is what helped them, Has to, helped them to keep the sugars in control. And now they are so happy that uh, they are encouraging others to uh, uh, come to this program. 
and good part of the program is those who want to continue with their dietitian it is completely free so uh, there are some programs that that are available in uh, various cities in india but the cost is huge the one program that i found out it was costing around 20000 over 6 months there were cheaper programs also which were only 3000 rupees but they didn't include any test or consultations directly it was just uh, zoom meetings and that was happening so what where we differ is we actually make people to come here uh, listen to our talk make Follow them up talk, on a day to day basis yeah, make them talk and it is absolutely daily follow up on whatsapp group where each each person is encouraging someone else so it's it's kind of team effort so, doctor, what would be your advice to all patients who are currently suffering from the disease? Uh, see, I know that maybe 10% of uh, uh, patients who are eligible for this in Goa are able to come to Manipal Hospital. But what should you should definitely do is you talk to your doctor, is diabetes reversal practically possible in your case? Uh, most of them will say yes, and then you ask how to do it, and you can get, get help from your regular doctor. In case you need uh, any more advice, you can always join, join our session. Our next session so will be somewhere in May. Mm -hmm. And it will be in form of uh, a lecture series, where the first lecture is we tell what is diabetes. Second lecture is about food. And third lecture is how we actually practically do it. And where we also discuss about certain myths. For example, a lot of people think you cannot eat banana because you are diabetic or you cannot eat rice because you are diabetic. A uh, lot of lot of misconceptions are there about uh, diabetes. We clear them all. Basically create a better awareness. Create a better awareness so that people see basic problem of our society is nobody tells us how to judge our food. What food is good? What food is bad? So if you ask me in very simple terms, what is diabetes reversal? It is just making people uh, aware. aware of what is good food and what is their good body weight and help them making achieve it. So Dr. Vic, before we end this episode, what would be your take home message to all our viewers? Uh, first, type 2 diabetes that comes early in life is a lifestyle disease. And you can go back to a normal person from being a diabetic person by having a good lifestyle that results in fat loss. Second, you should, if you are at high risk of developing diabetes, which is uh, defined by your family history, obesity, lack of exercise, then you should check your sugars at regular intervals, which should be at least once in a year after age of 25 years. And if you detect that you are pre-diabetic, your intervention has to start at that stage. And third, uh, you need to study your food. So Dr. Vikram, thank you so much for taking time out and you know doing this interview. I hope the viewers uh, uh, take the tips that you have shared about the disease and uh, think about joining the Diabetes Remission Program at Manipal Hospital, Goa. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.